It's been an awesome day, a bit of a sad day, but also a fantastic day for me. So I got to take off uh, tail 86156 for its final flight. Uh, took off from Barnes International Guard Base in Massachusetts and flew about an hour and a half here to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. <laughs> Got to land at Wright Field, um, and this jet will be on permanent display in the Air Force Museum. And I was got got to be the lucky one to ferry her here. So sad day to see your tail. I've been lucky enough um, to have my name on this tail. It's not necessarily my jet by any stretch, and there have been a lot of fantastic pilots that have flown uh, this one before me, and most namely this jet to me uh, as I. I grew up in the F-15C. Uh, one of the cool bases I got to be stationed at was RAF Lake and Heath in the United Kingdom. And this jet was always assigned to the Lake and Heath weapons officer. So it was always a special jet with uh, the best pilot flying at the time. And then a couple of years ago when uh, RAF Lake and Heath was shutting down, some of those tails got redistributed and Barnes Air National Guard Base uh, got this one. And then I was lucky enough to be assigned to it uh, for a stroke of fortune here. So um, I get to be here, and which is great. I think this holds true for any fighter, but certainly F-50C, I'll, I'll speak to, I've been flying this for about 10 years, is you don't make too many concessions in the F-15C. Like, if you want to pull more G, you pull more G. If you want to go faster, you just go faster. Uh, if you want to maneuver, you maneuver. So there's not a lot of limits to it. There's not a lot of things you can't do. That makes it really, really fun. Uh, the F-15C is kind of the last jet created not fly-by-wire, so it's, you know, bell cranks and pulleys and you're connected to the stick. It's obviously hydraulically actuated to be able to move, but you feel it. And uh, all the jets since don't really have that. They try and recreate it, but they don't really have the feels uh, associated with this jet. It's a good and a bad thing. Uh, it, it's such that a really experienced pilot might have a, a better chance at it than a younger pilot because feels of the jet matter. Um, but those fields of the jet are what make it challenging, what make it really difficult, and what makes it extremely rewarding to fly. So this jet, I'll always maintain, is rewarding but challenging to fly, and that's what makes you keep coming back for more. And so flying overhead, uh, showing, not necessarily showing all the maneuvering, because what you saw is nothing compared to what this thing can do in the air. It's always fun every time I fly it. I enjoyed all of this across uh, for the flight across the country, east to west and over Pennsylvania, is you just look back and you see these this beautiful, you know, kind of airframe behind you. Uh, you can see kind of the humps of the engine back there, the two tails and those two wings, and I'm like, every single time I, I get excited about it. So love this jet.